Welcome to Geopolitical Horizon. Today we're going to examine the situation in Northern Ireland. Last week, the Loyalist Communities Council, which is an umbrella organization for various Loyalist paramilitary groups, withdrew its support for the Good Friday Agreement. The Good Friday Agreement was signed in 1998 and ended almost four decades of military conflict in Northern Ireland. So why did it withdraw the support for the Good Friday Agreement? Well, when the UK government and the EU negotiated the Brexit deal, it was decided that in order to avoid a hard border between the Republic of Ireland, which is an EU member, and Northern Ireland, which is a part of the EUK, it was decided to establish a Northern Ireland Protocol. The Northern Ireland Protocol made Northern Ireland into an entry point into the European Union. And therefore, while they avoided the hard border, they established an Irish sea border. So basically the Irish sea border, which is between Great Britain and Northern Ireland, that in many ways became the new hard border. At least that is what the loyalists feel. And that's why they withdrew their support for the Good Friday Agreement. Some concerns have been raised Although the Loyalists said that they will resist peacefully and democratically, some voices have been raising the, the question of will a military conflict potentially re-emerge? Now, in the short term, I don't think so. But we must remember the corona pandemic's tough situation with lockdown, restrictions, people are, you know, people are losing their jobs. This is only compounding the political tensions that now are simmering in Northern Ireland among the Loyalists. And the Loyalists clearly said that there is a seething anger and frustration about the situation. And therefore, while they now are resisting democratically and peacefully, unless the UK government and the European Union are able to potentially renegotiate, find some solution to the Northern Ireland situation, and maybe resolve this issue in some way, unless they're able to do that, the question of whether this peaceful and democratic resistance will change in the future remains to be seen. But this is an important question now because the tensions in Northern Ireland have resurfaced. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next week.